Now, historically, there have been other mechanisms uh, that can solve some of these things. Uh, and so, with this discovering of audiences, we certainly have had uh, panels and focus groups as inputs, uh, agreement on price, the three martini lunches. Not really effective, but really efficient. I'll give it that. Uh, and then lastly, uh, the old well-worn nugget. I, I feel like I'm from the agency side. I'm going to be a little bit of a reformed alcoholic, so uh, I'll be in remission for, for the next, uh, next half an hour or so, but the 24-year-old media, media planner. So, uh, so how does programmatic uh, being handled today? Uh, the first of all, when it comes to the, the, the discovery of audiences, we certainly have moved from this uh, panel of sample, uh, sample data uh, to have far more robust signal uh, around co consumer and, and respondent level data uh, around what the consumer is giving us, both in terms of, of action, behavior, and intent. Uh, so a lot of tremendous work that's being done there and very successful for many companies in this room. The second thing is, if you look at the gap between the expectation uh, and reality when it comes to price, um, I think we're, we're at an all-time low because if you're a publisher, your expectation of return uh, on a particular piece of inventory and audience is here. And I can guarantee you the market or the agency that's buying that is not even on the same page. And it's a unique thing that's happening within our industry is that the gap between the bid and the ask is extraordinarily big, and I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail. Um, but we now have you know, far more robust mechanisms to close that, close that gap, get to price discoverability, uh, and have multiple ways of clearing inventory. Um, if you took just those two things, you can, you can very easily say that, that programmatic is about automation. Uh, and that wouldn't be wrong, but if you stop there, I think you miss out on what we've discovered is probably the biggest part of that. Programmatic was not created so that media planners and buyers can make bad decisions 60% faster. Okay, let that sink in. In our experience, what we found is um, if you took the attributes that drove performance that you gave into an algorithm versus uh, those that you gave to a, an expert planner and buyer, um, I'm not saying humans are bad at media planning. I'm saying they are extraordinarily bad at media planning. And I say that because the more expert you are, the more cognitive bias you have. And so what we found is um, if, if you took the top 10 attributes that drove performance, it's almost diametrically opposed to what your best media planners and buyers will tell you. Now, Granted, this is only for certain types of inventory under certain types of circumstances for certain types of outcomes. Programmatic is never going to be 100% of a media spend. Um, but for a large portion, I don't know what that number is, 50, 60, 80%, depending on whose projections you believe and more. Um, we have to expect that the optimization of decisions uh, are better served in, uh, in a machine's hands.